Hello, mates. Um, my name is Tom. I run a company called FlexDaps with my co-founder, Alex. Um, and we thought we would build something pretty fun. Uh, we're interested in finding out how to get users for um, decentralized applications. Um, and one of the things that we see a lot of excitement around um, are DAOs currently. There's a lot of people who are really interested in how do we govern stuff in a decentralized way and have lots of different stakeholders and how do we reward those stakeholders and so on. Um, but it's really difficult, it seems, to get a lot of data about um, who is using DAOs and why they're doing so and which incentive mechanisms are working and which ones aren't um, and that kind of stuff. So um, we were brainstorming one day and we thought maybe it would be really interesting to test um, various incentive mechanisms for decentralized governance um, with video games. Um, so we remembered an experiment called Twitch Plays Pokemon, uh, which is from uh, which an, an Australian person developed in like 2014, um, where he put uh, the game Pokemon on the streaming service Twitch, and anyone who typed a message into the Twitch chat had that message turned into a game command, and it was piped into the game, and it was chaos. Um, it was really funny. And um, one really amazing thing that came out of that experiment was the, um, the fact that the game did actually end. People completed the game. So although there were 80,000 um, concurrent players on average, um, those, those players managed to beat Pokemon, which is a very complicated game um, for a computer to play anyway. Um, so we did something similar. Um, so we got Pokemon, um, and at the EdCon hackathon way back in March, uh, we created a smart contract on a, a Loom network, and um, everyone's input into the game was piped into a smart contract, and we used the events to like feed into the game and all this kind of stuff. And the theory behind it is, could we figure out ways to reward people for participating in, in, in a game as arbitrary as Pokemon um, that probably has a, a much wider reach um, in terms of the, the types of users that it could attract? Um, than something like a traditional DAO or some, some of the types of stuff that, um, that we're building and we're showcasing um, you know, in the Ethereum community it, itself. Um, so yeah, so we put that um, in an application that we've built uh, called Drop Party, which is like a, a bunch of different um, kind of Ethereum-based games. So they all run on layer two, and the focus of all of these things is like how can we get lots of people to, um, to engage with blockchain tech and cryptocurrency tech um, without necessarily knowing they're doing so. So the, the frame is a bit silly, like it's all very kind of quirky and, and, and fun and tr try to fill, pack it full of memes. Um, but we've got the, the Dow Pokemon, uh, a game called Ethereum Galaxies, which is the scavenger hunt here um, at DevCon. So you can run around and collect a bunch of QR codes and they'll appear as um, different stars in your galaxy, um, which is super cool. Um, game called Hacker Person, where you just kind of earn, earn uh, the internal currency, which is called Yeats. Um, by smacking the keyboard. Um, an NFT obliterator, which lets you earn ye yeats by destroying NFTs, um, and something which gives us your email address, which would be great. Um, but yeah, so the, I don't know. I didn't really prepare a talk, so I'm just yelling stuff. Um, but we, we enjoy building fun, decentralized applications. So if you want to um, reach out to us on Twitter, we're at FlexDaps. Um, my email address is tom at flexdaps.com and the website is flexdaps.com. Um, but yeah, I hope that was fun and informative. Thanks.